Hello, again. Today I've got something a little bit special. Now it's an Android box, but it's not like any other Android box that I have reviewed before. It's a 6K Android box. I don't even have a 4K TV yet, but a 6K Android box, and it is rather special. It's not a brand new box. It's been around for a while. It's called the, the B-Link 6S1. You may have heard of this before and it comes highly, highly recommended. So I'm kind of excited about it and I want to see what it's like. And it's got, it's wrapped in cellophane. So if it's wrapped in cellophane, we need to unbox this very, very quickly. And we need a knife. Wait a minute, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Let's get into this. There you go. Done. <laughs> ah, love that. I always like taking off cellophane. All right, so let's have a quick look at the specs. This is the two gig, 16 gigabyte of ROM version. It's got a quad core 64 bit ARM Cortex E53 CPU with the graphics high performance multi-core CPU Mali chip. And it does 4K 60 frames per second and up to 6K in 30 frames per second. It's got gigabyte ethernet which is awesome. It's got twin Wi-Fi. It's got all the things that we want. It ticks every box. So I'm really excited about this one. Let's have a look at it. So far, it doesn't want to come out. Oh, that was hard work. Ooh, look at that. It's a little bit posh. It's got a proper bit of packaging here. This could be, look at that. This could be quite quality. That's not this normal sort of unboxing we get on CB74. Right, so straight away, you have the box. And it's got a rather attractive six B-Link on the front. And if you take it round the side, plug it in there. USB there, HDMI there, Ethernet port, and an optical port as well, if you need that for sound. Take it round the side, we've got another USB port, it's a USB 3, and we've also got an SD card slot. Around here, nothing. Around here, nothing. So it's pretty simplistic, and I like that. And at the bottom, we've got a little bit of a vent. And it's about the size of my palm just a little bit bigger not bad not bad at all next to my knife yeah it's tiny so let's see what else we get on the box in the box just gonna turn this up upside down up upside down right we've got a little handy operation guide which is very simplistic and it pretty much tells you nothing this is really nice packaged everything's got this little slot remote control controls HDMI, nice. Don't really dwell too much on unboxing, but it's really nicely packaged, look at that. So you've got your power brick, another, again, another little package. It's all this little attention to detail, and you've got an HDMI cable. But look, it's got a nice little Velcro thing with B-Link on it. And it looks a really good quality HDMI cable. I don't want to batter too much on an HDMI cable, but you know, this isn't your standard uh, kind of Android unboxing we've got here. And again, another little package with the remote control. Now this is probably the only down point about this so far, is it looks as if it's just a regular kind of AR blaster remote control. But you can't get everything. But it does look rather attractive if you had that in your living room. It wouldn't be too bad. So that's pretty much the unboxing. The only thing we've got in the back of is we've got little QR codes. And uh, one's to blink.com and the other one is to a YouTube tutorial. So 
That'd be interesting. I think it'd be better than mine. Probably. I'm really excited about seeing what this is like. Uh, if this is as good as it has been recommended, then I reckon we're in for a good little uh, recommendation, I think, especially how quality uh, the packaging is. So let's have a look at it right now, including we'll find out what it's like on our little board, which I'll need to get up in the office. Be right back. So while he does that, I'm just going to show you what the interface looks like. Right now, it's a fairly straightforward, basic interface, I think. The only problem I had was it wouldn't find my location. I don't know why that is. Uh, that shows you all the apps that come installed. Now, I installed IPVanish, Kodi, Antutu Benchmark, the racing. Now, what you're seeing here is the speed test. I was a little disappointed, actually, when I did this, because when I did it before, I was getting 400... Um, megabits per second. I was at my full speed and um, when I did it my internet must have been running a little bit slow because all I could get was you know around about the 190 200. Now the second uh, test you're going to see right now this is off of Wi-Fi. The first one was Ethernet and, and the second one was Wi-Fi and the fastest speed I could get off the Wi-Fi was around about 240 so it's lightning fast this box for Ethernet and Wi-Fi. What you're seeing now is all the 4K files that I threw at this box and every single one just played them almost instantly. And I would say probably instantly. As soon as I clicked the button, they played. And seamlessly at that, uh, I've, when I've been doing other boxes, reviewed other boxes, 4K files always, some would work, some would not work. This is the first box I've ever reviewed where every single file, that 4K file that I threw at it, worked seamlessly. Uh, so I really was impressed, White to say the, the least. the color of flowers in springtime Red the color of blood through my veins Blue is the color of when you were leaving So this is Cody now. Now this is how I use Cody. Uh, all these films have been are on my network attached storage, and they're played locally. This is how fast it is. I probably picked a bad example there with uh, Ant-Man because it has it has three or four seconds there where it's just total blackness. What I'm trying to uh, show you is that when you click the films or the thumbnails, they play straight away. Now. A couple of factors can come into play with that is how fast your network is and my uh, network attack storage is right next to the device where I was so uh, yes it played instantly and to be honest with you no matter where I play it in the house it always does when it comes to Kodi. This is BBC iPlayer now I did have a couple of issues with BBC iPlayer I don't know if it's the Android app but when you see here when I'm uh, watching MasterChef here it just kind of stutters just a little bit and it took a couple of seconds for it to kind of catch up with itself again I've had problems with the Android BBC app before um, and I don't know if that is just the case with that or it is the box either way it still played them you know uh, very well once it caught up now, gaming-wise, I don't really do heavy gaming, and I, I certainly wouldn't be doing gaming on any of these boxes, but this is Beach Buggy Racing. Now, this plays very well on an Amazon device, for example, especially the Amazon Fire TV, and it played equally well here today. The only thing I forgot to do was uh, plug in controller, so that's why I'm going in a straight line. Um, but uh, when I was playing it off air, uh, it, yeah, it played really well, and just, uh, well, no lag, nothing like that. You would expect it, it's not a high performance game. This test here, this is off of a VPN. Now you might think that is a terrible score. Now, it's got a two gig of RAM. Now when it comes to VPN scores, 
it is very much dependent on your how much RAM you've got on your device. I have done videos in the past where I have, uh, I've had devices with three, four, eight gigs of RAM and I've had zero latency. Now latency is, is the difference between what you've got full speed and what you've got with your VPN. So the 30, the 40 gigabytes per second, to be honest with you, is not really a bad score and it's pretty much expected. Anyway, I think I hear Clarence coming now, so I better wrap this up. Ah, got it. Right, so if you haven't seen the CB74 Android box chart board before, well, here it is here. It's a work of art. I know you agree, it is a work of art. Now, the very top is the NVIDIA Shield Oreo version. I don't know why I've got that, because I'll never get to review it. Uh, but it's really just there for reference. And it's 190 bucks, which is like... Do you know, it's with three or four times this, of the cost of everything else that I've got on this board, so I just want you to take that into consideration. So, this box is a beast. So where is it on the chart? It got a score of 40. 5,100 and 87, which basically puts it there, which is above the Xiaomi box, which was my previous favorite, which is $76. You can get this at $69.99 at the moment. So, and it's, uh, well, it's quite considerably higher than the Xiaomi box. It's a beast for the price. So I would definitely, if you're looking for an Android box round about that price point, definitely recommend this one. Definitely recommend it. Now, no box is perfect. Now, if I had to have a down point, then yeah, I would say is you definitely, uh, the remote control has to be, um, yeah, considered replacing. Uh, it does have a really good mouse function on it, but it is an, uh, an IR blaster, and it's a pretty good IR blaster at that. Uh, but I would definitely change it for a Bluetooth one and that way it will be good to go. But as an Android box go, this is a beast, especially with 4K. With 4K, my goodness, it just instant, an absolute beast. Uh, as are, I've heard a lot of the B-Link products, if not all of them. So even if you're not looking for this particular box, because it isn't, you know, it's a 2017 model, but it's still... Oh, very well worth it, very recommended. Um, there are other ones available, but uh, they're probably more expensive than this one. So, if that's your price point, buy this. Don't usually say that in these reviews, but uh, that's a, it's a beast. It's a good box. So, there you go, that's all I'm going to say about it. If you want to buy it, the links will be in the description. So, buy it, helps me out. Um, not that I get any commission out of it, but it just means uh, if I do get any sales, then I get to get in more boxes to review and ultimately to give away. <laughs> so please consider that. And I will see you in the next video, and which should be interesting. Hope you're all well, and bye-bye. Uh,